Bikers left. Bikers. Stopping. Crashing. So welcome to the Freebill. This store has been here since 1978. We've, um, it's, um, I started up in 93. Originally the space was a, um, a grocery store with grains and cheeses. And then the people that owned it started selling some hardware supplies. And then it, then it evolved into um, hardware and bicycle parts. And then it evolved into um, closer to what it is now, which is a bicycle shop with a membership workshop space. What ha has been retained over the years is the membership workshop space where people in the community can come and work on their own bikes. Um, we do classes and um, that gives you a bit of knowledge just to get make you a bit more independent. Um, with your bike and um, and then we have the space here for you to come and work on your bike and um, and it's it's just been a really cool thing that San Francisco still has something like this because rents are usually through the roof but we have um, a landlord that you know is kind of in love with the place and you know and likes the idea this is but this is the kind of the sweet spot in my heart has of what it offers the community. What I want to go through right now is uh, I'll pretty much go through what I offer in the classes where I'll um, show you how to work out your brakes, work out your gears, take off your chain um, if necessary. I think that some of these won't be as necessary, but it, I saw a, a couple of them now drive chains. I can take mine off. Okay, great. Too. <laughs> this isn't going to be too much of a problem, but this flex here sort of adds to like this sort of problem here where and you have a slack all the time and doesn't really want to spring spring back. Hmm. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to position the brake pad so it's um, tied up against the rim, um, but close to the tire, but never so it nicks the tire. So you want to give it just a, couple, a millimeter below uh, where the tire hits the rim. And then if you look at, some wheels aren't perfectly round, so there might be a low spot. So you wanna, you wanna consider that low spot because um, if your brake pad nicks the tire, it'll definitely cut into it really quick. Um, I'm gonna have everybody kind of take a little peek at what I'm looking at. And, um, and th this caliper here, moves back and forth with the twist of this dial. So I want to bring them nice and close so you can see that the rim, the most uh, the largest inconsistency um, is where it rubs against the caliper. And we're going to go right for that inconsistency. We're going to go from the largest inconsistency, work that out, then get to the next one, work that out, and get to the next one. And the whole time we're closing the caliper. Um, tighter and tighter and tighter, so we have a nice. Um, so we're getting to a, a, a very near perfect tolerance. Uh, I'll just ask you where I can film. But I don't know. Are you We didn't watch that really big place, which is nice to probably You can do whatever you want. Yeah, I to have parties for the like, stars. The beach! We have reached the end.
to San Francisco. Yeah, I'm so just psyched. Woo! Ow! <laughs> well, today is the 4th of July. It's, uh, it's America's birthday. And uh, we made it to San Francisco. We're here at the uh, edge of the United States of America. Uh, Dylan's got a whip and Ben's got a whip, and I think this is going to be pretty cool. So <laughs> you should. <laughs> 